on this day in combat sports history. On September 7th, 1996, Mike Tyson would defeat Bruce Seldon in one round for the WBA heavyweight title, unifying it with the WBC heavyweight title he already held. Though that may be notable in its own right, there's another event that happened that night that overshadows Tyson's victory. You see, that night in attendance to that fight was American rapper Tupac Shakur. You see, Pac was in Vegas to celebrate his business partner's birthday and attended the Tyson fight. Afterward, in the lobby, Pac encountered one of Suge Knight's associates, a Southside Compton Crip, and someone who had tried to rob them earlier that year. The hotel surveillance footage shows a violent brawl go down with Shakur then leaving the scene. Shakur went back to his hotel room and then headed with his manager to the Death Row nightclub. At about 11.15 p.m. at a stoplight, a white four-door Cadillac sedan would pull up to the passenger side of that BMW and open fire. Shakur was struck four times and would ultimately die from his injuries. The death was felt worldwide as Tupac is largely considered one of rap's forefathers. He is widely considered one of the most influential and successful rappers of all time. Shakur is among the best-selling artists of all time, selling more than 75 million records worldwide. His music has even made it into the Smithsonian National Museum. To this day, he still gets over 20 million monthly listeners. Every time I wake up, shit feel the same. Got a million thoughts and they working on my brain. Sipping on my favorite liquor just to ease the pain. Cause I feel like I'm crazy and that's what need to change. Making plans to move and talk from state to state. Talking pounds and haze, medical high. Ray, look how my eyes stay. What more can I say? How dare a nigga tell me that this rap won't work?